a very good day to all of you. Today we are going to learn the solution of differential equations by Laplace transform. We are going to learn scale for this video is the first order differential equation by using Laplace transform. First of all, okay, you have to take the Laplace transform for both hand side of your differential equation. Second step, put in the initial conditions. Okay, third step is solve for the y s. Lastly, find the inverse Laplace transform to obtain back the y t. Recall back scale Laplace transform for y t is y s. And recall back scale in the previous lectures, we have learned scale. The Laplace transform for derivative, okay, for first derivative for y prime t will be s y s minus y zero. Second derivative is s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero. See, have learned is the okay, previous lecture, so the proof here okay, will be skipped in this case video. Okay, for example, solve the first order differential equations dy dt minus 2y equal to 4 given when t0 y equal to 1 or y bracket 0 equal to 1. First step takes the Laplace transform okay, at birth hand side. So Laplace transform for dy dt, we have s y s minus y0 okay, minus k. Okay, this is follows the linearity property minus 2 times Laplace transform for y. So Laplace transform for y will be ys. Okay, right hand side, Laplace transform for 4, you get 4 over s. Second step, plug in the initial condition given y0 equal to 1. So you plug in 1 here. So you have s, y, s minus 1 minus 2 y, s equal to 4 over s. Third step, solve for y, s. The term that without ys, bring it to right hand side. So factor out this term ys, ys. So factor out. So first term is they have s, and then here minus two. Okay, negative one you bring to right hand side to so become positive one here. Okay, and then use cross multiplication. Cross multiplication for one become s over s. So total you have s plus four over s for the right hand side. Okay, since we want to solve for one type of y s, so the term s minus two you bring to right hand side become divide by s minus two, so y s totally become s plus four over s over s minus two. Okay, the last step takes the inverse Laplace k okay, at right hand side, so the inverse Laplace for y s equal to the inverse Laplace of s plus 4 over s over s minus 2. Inverse Laplace for y s, you get y t. Once to find the y t, you need to find the inverse Laplace of s plus 4 over s over s minus 2. Okay, you can find the inverse Laplace either using partial fractions here or using convolution theorem. Okay, in this lecture, we saw the inverse Laplace using partial fractions. Since okay, your, <coughs> your expression s plus 4 over s over s minus 2, okay, denominator you have two linear factors. Okay, so we'll break it into two terms a over s plus b over s minus 2. Recall back, okay, as we said, linear term, this is s power 1, so denominator is actually s power Zero. Denominator is always one degree lesser than your nu uh, sorry, numerator is always one degree lesser than your numerator uh, denominator. So if denominator denominator is linear, so the numerator must be a constant term. So you have a over s plus b over s minus two. Okay. And then okay, you compare the numerator numerator. Okay, after the cross multiplication, okay, you have a times s minus 2 times b times s. 
callbacks, okay, in the previous lectures, okay, how we saw the partial fraction. We have AS plus, as a AS minus 2 times the BS. By using cross multiplication, then we have over S over S minus 2. So since left side, right side, you have the same denominator, you just compare the numerator at front hand side. That's why S plus 4 equal to A times S minus 2 plus, okay, sorry, type 4, this is to have a B, S, B, S. Then for linear term, S minus 2, okay, you may substitute S equal to 2, S equal to 2, so you have 2 minus 2, 0, so you have 2B, it's the second one here. So S is 2, 2 plus 4, left side is 6, turns B is 3. Then you have okay, another linear term, S, huh? once you substitute S equal to 0. Because when you substitute S equal to 0, I'm use another card, you can see, S equal to 0, so this term is 0, so S is 0, 0 minus 2, you have negative 2a. So s is 0, so 0 plus 4, you have 4. Hence, a is negative 2. Then the so expression s plus 4 over s over s minus 2 is negative 2 over s plus b is 3, so 3 over s minus 2. Hence, the inverse Laplace of s plus 4 over s over s minus 2 is equal to the inverse Laplace of this, which is negative 2 over s, plus inverse Laplace of 3 over s minus 2. The inverse Laplace for negative 2 over s is negative 2. Inverse Laplace for 3 over s minus 2 is 3 exponent 2t. Okay. Why t is actually the inverse Laplace of s plus 4 over s over s minus 2. That's why it's equal to negative 2 plus 3 exponent 2t. Okay. Second example, similarly. Find, uh, solve the dy dt plus 2y equal to 10 exponent 3t given y0 equal to 6. First step, take Laplace transform at verb hand side. So Laplace transform for dy dt plus 2y equal to Laplace transform for 10 exponent 3t. Laplace sample for dy dt is s y s minus y0. Okay, plus 2 times Laplace sample for y is 2y s. Laplace sample for 10 exponent 3t is 10 over s minus 3. Okay, second step, plug in initial conditions. Yeah, y0 equal to 6. Okay, third step, solve for y s. We factor out this y s. Y s, so bracket here you have s plus 2. Negative 6 bring to right side become plus 6. Okay. Then over s minus 3. 6, okay. So you multiply 6s minus 18. So mean okay, here, 6 here you find s minus 3. That's why you need to divide by s minus 3. So the same denominator, you can okay, combine it. So 6s here, 6s times negative 3, okay, negative 18 plus 10, so minus 8. Okay, we want 1ys. So the s plus 2 bring to the other side, become divide s plus 2. To find the yt, takes the inverse Laplace at both hand side. Because inverse Laplace of ys, you get yt. You get yt, you take the inverse Laplace at the expression at the right hand side, which is 6s minus 8 over s plus 2 over s minus 3. And again, we solve it using partial fraction. You have two linear terms. So a over s plus 2 plus b over s minus 3. Okay, cross multiplication and compare the numerator term. So 6 s minus 8 equal to a times s minus 3, make sure bracket for the linear term, plus b bracket s plus 2. 
Okay, to solve for A and B, let the linear term equal to zero, okay, by suitable substitution. First of all, we'll let S equal to 3. So 3 minus 3, this is 0. You can find for the solve for B because 3 plus 2 and 5B. Left side, 6 times 3, 18. Minus 8, you got 10. Turns B is 10 divided by 5, you get 2. Okay, and then to solve for your A, to solve for A, you substitute, okay. Now, this one is substitute S equal to 3. Now, we substitute S equal to negative 2. Now, negative 2 plus 2, you got B term 0, and you can solve for your A. So, negative 2 minus 3, so you have minus 5A at the right side. So, S substitute by negative 2. So, 6 times negative 2, negative 12 minus 8. So, negative 20. Once A is negative 20 divided by negative 5, you get 4. So, that's why 6S minus 8 over S plus 2 over S minus 3. Okay, substitute this is A is 4. And this is the B. And then the inverse Laplace are Ys, okay, which is 6s minus 8 over s plus 2 or s minus 3. This one also equal to your yt is equal to the inverse Laplace of 4 over s plus 2, where you get 4 exponent negative 2, 2t. Inverse Laplace of 2 over s minus 3, you get 2 exponent 3t. Right, this one. Using the okay, partial fraction, taking inverse, you get here. Yt is equal to the inverse Laplace of this one. It's also equal to 4 exponent negative 2t plus 2 exponent 3t. Okay. Here, I conclude back. Okay. To solve okay, your differential equation for first order or second order differential equation, first take Laplace transform at right hand side, second insert initial condition, Third step, solve for the yS. Third, okay, fourth step, solve, uh, find the inverse Laplace to obtain the yT. Okay, for Laplace sum for first relative, you have Laplace sum for y prime t equal to s yS minus y0. And in the following okay, video, we are going to show okay, the solution for second order differential equation. Okay, where the second derivative, uh, Laplace transform for second derivative is s squared y s minus s y zero minus y prime zero. Okay, with this, thank you for attentions and watching this video.